Jim, you have to do this. Mommy and Daddy will be right here. Guys, it's just a blind date. He's gonna be fine. Look, Amy's our friend, so just try to be normal. I will. And, and don't freak out. I won't. You never said she was Asian! This is bad, right? Well, good dates generally consist of no yelling, and yelling racist things can tend to send mixed messages. I just didn't want her to think I was one of those guys with yellow fever. What? You know, like an Asian fetish. She's not gonna believe that we're in here grabbing plates after a few hours. Jim is worried that Amy's gonna think he has yellow fever. Oh, so you don't want her to think that you racially profile your dates? Exactly. Uh, well then maybe you shouldn't have opened up by saying, You're Asian? So, Amy works with kids. And Jim, weren't you just telling me how much you love kids? It's not true. I just think they're tinier, less intelligent people who are more open about their bodily fluids. Actually, I hate kids too. Anyone who poops in front of me is rude in my book. <laughs> well, um, you two lovebirds seem to be hitting it off. Why don't Dave and I go get some sake? <laughs> Sorry about the whole Asian thing before. You know, you could just treat me like a normal goddamn person and I'd be fine with that. I was just... Nervous, right? Yeah, I don't even understand the whole Asian fetish thing. <laughs> I know, it's like they want someone who will constantly scream, Oh, me so honey! Me love you long time! <laughs> right? Do you have a window I can sneak out of? They do that on sitcoms when dinner dates are too awkward. Jim! This is why I don't talk to Asian girls. This is what happens. All my life I've made a conscious effort to avoid Asian girls just so they don't think I'm treating them any differently. That's probably racist. Jim! Well, what if I do have yellow fever? I've never dated an Asian girl. Maybe all my ex-girlfriends were there just to divert attention from the fact that I have an Asian fetish. Jim! What? I know it looks bad, but let's just go sit back down and it won't be that awkward. No, we should go with the sitcom idea. Because when things get too awkward, there's a window you can climb out of and everything's okay. But in real life, there are no windows and everything's not okay, it's just awkward. Jim, calm down, it won't be awkward. <laughs> you know, it's funny, Dave and Mandy are always going on about my Diverse and in impartial dating history, aren't you? Pushing it. I'm sorry, Amy. I think you're a nice girl. I think I have an Asian fetish. That's okay. I pretty much date only white guys. What? Yeah, I'm not attracted to anyone else. So let me get this straight. You're a white fetishist? Yeah. So? What's wrong with Asian guys, huh? Uh, are they too short? It's too good at math? Too honorable? I, for one, think Chow Yun-Fat is a very attractive man. I, I feel so violated. I can't believe I almost dated a girl with white fever. Wow. Wow. Was that Chinese? <laughs> You people are insane! What does she mean, you people?